Top of the morning to you, you scamming feckers, yeah? Oh, you want Target gift cards, do you? Don't be putting any extra zeros on. Hi everyone, welcome back. Polcat here. And if you're new, welcome. Well, this is part five. And again, it's Microsoft. I know, I'm sorry, but it's a saga. Stick with it. Um, best things to do for this one is literally sit back and relax. Because we have a scammer that has a certain speech problem and I find it very hard to contain myself so I apologize and uh, well you'll see for yourself so sit back relax and I hope you enjoy and don't forget like subscribe and drop a wee comment down below Calling technical support. This is Jennifer. How may I help you today? Ah, uh, hi, Jennifer. Yeah, I have a problem with my computer. Okay, ma'am. Can you please let me know what do you see on the screen or what has happened? Uh, yeah, I think it was one of them pop-ups. It scared me. Okay. And uh, what do you see on the screen, ma'am? Like, can you read out? Ah, uh, I... I took the number down, honey, and I uh, rang you straight away, but it said something about uh, Trojan or something, uh, finance something. Okay, and uh, is this the first time you have received this? Yeah, it is. Is it common? Okay. Or? All right, and uh, I need to check, ma'am, why you have received this alert, okay? So this is your personal computer or it's your work computer? No, it's my personal computer, honey. Personal, okay ma'am. So before we go ahead, can you please provide me your first and your last name along with your zip code? Yeah, my name is Marabeth Swanson. And your zip code? Yeah, it's seven. Hello? Yes, after that. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Oh yeah, I can hear you now, honey. Sorry, my cell phone's not the greatest yet. Yeah. Did you say zip code? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it's seven five two one eight. Okay. So ma'am, please be on the line with me as I need to go ahead and check, okay? And in case if the line get disconnect, do not worry. Just be in front of your phone and I'll call you, okay? All right, okay. If the line get dis okay, okay, thank you. Please be on the No problem. Well, hi everyone. Hope you like the new setup. Um, seems to be... Uh, going well. I'll be sorting this all out and everything else. A uh, bit of a rush job to get back onto these ones. Uh, unfortunately their uh, personal numbers are down so obviously getting hammered by other baiters. I'm not angry. Well done everyone. Um, just be glad to be back and uh, yeah. I hope he's like a bit more focused bit more centralized and of course you still get to see the beautiful me <laughs> okay ma'am are you there with me yeah i am honey hello yeah hello okay uh, well i have checked everything and it seems like there is a security breach on your device which means that there has been some hacking activity someone okay. has tried to get into your device and it also seems that this hacking activity has taken place within past some hours, okay? So we need to see whether this hacking activity has been continuously going on or not. And, like, uh, have you shared your Wi-Fi password to any unknown person? My, my Wi-Fi? 
Oh no, I yeah. I don't I don't use Wi-Fi, honey. My computer's plugged straight in with the wire. Okay. So now we will go ahead and get you connect to our centralized server. As it's a hacking activity, we need to block all the hackers from the devices, okay? Okay. So can you please be in front of your device and focus on your keyboard? Yeah, I'm in front of it. Okay, so on the very left hand side, bottom of your keyboard, do you see the control key? Yeah, I see it. Next the control key, which key do you see? Uh it's a wee button that says F N. Sorry? It says F N. Okay. Do you see there is a four box Windows key? Uh yeah. Okay. So you just have to press the Windows key along with the letter R, R as in Romeo at the same time. Okay. Ah, right, okay, I've done that. Let me know what you see. Yeah, I see a wee box. It says run. Okay. So you just have to type in there, okay? Okay. Just type in there www. Uh huh. U as in unicorn. Okay. L as in Lima. Okay. T as in Texas. Okay. So let me just go ahead and get you connected, okay? Okay. And apart from this, do you have any other devices with you? I have only my cell phone. Okay. What's that wee blue arrow? Oh, is that you? Sorry. Sorry? No, I was wondering what the blue arrow was. Yes, ma'am, we have just got you connected, okay? Okay. Oh, my background's back again. Okay. So now you just need to do one thing, alright? As we have got you connected, you just have to press the Windows key and the letter R once again, as you did before. Okay. Okay, I've done it. Now you need to just erase if you see anything on the screen. Okay, I've done it. Now you type in there, C as in Charlie. Okay. M as in Micro. Okay. And then D as in Delta. Okay. Now give a click on OK. It brought now up a black give a box. Click on OK. Yeah. So in this black box, we are going to do the first scan, okay, to see whether your devices have been damaged or not, or any other things has been done over your devices or not, okay? Okay. So you just have to type in there, do you see a white crystal blinking? Next to my name, yeah, it says Mary Beth, then the wee arrow, and then the wee things blinking. Okay, now type in there, N as an NC. Okay. E as an Echo. Okay. T as in Texas. Okay. S as in Sugar. 
Sorry, did you say asses and sugar? Yes, ma'am. Asses right, and okay. sugar. Okay. G as in Texas. Okay. After that, A as in Alpha. Okay. And then T as in Texas. Okay. Now hit enter from the keyboard. Now you will see some of like active connections. Yeah. So in this active connection below that you will see like local address, a foreign address and state. Yeah. So here, ma'am, this local address belongs to you, okay? That's your local page, like local IP address, all right? Okay. And then you can see next to that is the foreign state, which means foreign address, it's the hacker's address, okay? Oh. This all belongs to the hackers. So you're and telling me there's eight hackers on my computer right now? Yes, ma'am. Why are they on so my computer? And your phone lines also, ma'am. They are connected with your phones also. Oh, well, I don't have a phone, so that's all right. Okay, we are speaking on your landline? No, I'm speaking on my cell. Okay, your cell phone. So if it shows anything like established, it means the hackers have hacked all of your devices. So do you see anything like established? Yeah, and my mouse moved too, honey. And I didn't move it. Okay. Yeah, it moved from down here up to there. And then whenever I'm, I lifted my mouse, it was back down here. Okay, maybe it's a glitch, ma'am. Sometimes it happens, okay? Oh, okay. So you can do one thing now. Uh, do you see anything I establish? Yeah, uh, the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of them. Seven established, and then there's one time wait. Was he late for the party? Alright, uh, so now you can do one thing, ma'am, as it has been hacked, okay? We are going to see whether your phone lines, which means your cell phone, is it hacked or not, okay? So you just have to type in the screen. Well, it need to be box. very good, honey. My phone's not even connected to the internet. It's an old flip phone. Yes, but it belongs to you, right? Yeah, but it's an old flip phone. It doesn't even connect to the internet. Like my grandson's, his he can go outside and be in the middle of nowhere, and he's still can you able hear me? to. Hello. Yeah, hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. This is Jennifer here from Microsoft, and so oh, sorry hi. we got this. No, that's all right. Must be my cell phone. Yes, ma'am. So now, as we are going to check the scan reports of your cell phone, okay, you just need to type in there, N as an NC. N as an NC. Right, okay, so. E as an echo. N as an NC. E as an echo. G as in Texas. Someone keeps moving the mouse. Okay. All right, and then S as in sugar. Okay. T as in Texas. Okay. A as in alpha. Okay. T as in Texas. Okay. And then give us space. Okay. And then give a minus sign. Minus sign, where is that now? Uh, there it is. Okay. Oh, dash. Yeah. Okay. 
And then A as an alpha. A as an alpha. Now hit enter from your keyboard. Now, if you see anything like listening, okay, do you see anything like listening? Yeah, on up the page. Yeah. It means, ma'am, the hackers have had your phone lines also because it's registered on your name. So it has been hacked. So please do not do any kind of activities over your phone because it's not safe for you, okay? But how can they hack a phone that's not connected to the internet? But it's registered on your name, ma'am. I still don't understand, but never mind. Before we go ahead and do that, I want you to answer a few of my questions, but just in yes or no. All right. Do you do any kind of online shopping on this device or any other devices? Yeah, I do sometimes. Do you do any kind of online banking? Yeah, I do. Do you do like online games? No. I'm sorry. Do you watch movies on Netflix? Sorry. YouTube? Sorry, what? Do you watch movies on Netflix, YouTube? Uh, I watch a bit of the YouTube for the uh, cooking. Uh, for you know recipes okay. and stuff like that, I okay. love the tomato and banana paste that you can make to put on your toast. Oh, if you've never oh, tasted tomato. tomato tomato banana paste, ah, oh, you don't know what you're missing out on. <laughs> I will surely try to do that. Okay. Oh, you need to make sure it's three tomatoes to yeah. one banana, but you have to use brown sugar. Just a, te a teaspoon, just a teaspoon of brown sugar makes all the difference. Okay. And if you really, really, really like it, you can add a bit of honey. Okay, ma'am. I'll surely try to make it, okay? All right. Thank you so much for that. So now we'll go further with the scan, okay? So please type in your C as in Charlie. C as in Charlie. And then D as in Delta. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, C as in Charlie, D as in Delta. Hello? You there? She needs to get a bit of phone. Yeah, hello? Yes, ma'am. We got disconnected again. Like, is your internet working fine? Yeah, my internet's working perfectly. Okay. So now you just type in uh, CD. After that, two dots. Give dot, dot. Dot, dot. And then enter. Okay. Oh, I took away my now, name. Now, D as in Delta. Yeah, that's fine, ma'am. And then D as in Delta. I as in Gianna. Okay. R as in Romeo. Okay. Give a forward slash. Forward slash. Okay. S as in sugar. Okay. Now hit enter. So now you will see What's a going bunch on? Did of I do scans. Wrong? Yeah, a scan is going over your screen, right? All right. This okay. is going to show you the reports of the hackers. Okay. Once it stops, just let me know. All right. It stopped. Okay. What do you see there? Uh, I see directory of C. And thing which shows as Microsoft Final Scan. 
Microsoft yeah, Final Scan Results. Yeah, it says Microsoft Final Scan Yeah, Scam you need reports. to read from there. Yeah, read oh from there. Oh my goodness, no. Illegal visit made the made on website www.pornhub.com at 4.33 a.m. And I, I don't even get out of bed until 10. Mom, it means this Child has been done by the hackers. Oh my goodness. Well, if it's in China, then it's not here. I ain't in China. I'm in Texas. Phone lines this has open. been done by the hackers, Mom. Oh my god, that's sick. It shows oh that there god. has been some illegal visit and uh, they have also done some child pornography. Oh and my. also they have oh used your bank information on all this child pornography along with your debit and credit cards. So ma'am, all these things has been done by the hackers and they have used your names on all this website. They've used my name? Yeah, they have used your name. Oh my goodness, no. No, no, no. So you can do one thing, ma'am, now. All right, don't panic. Can you be handy? No, no, can you be handy with all of your cards? I only have one. With your debit card, credit card? It's a MasterCard debit. It's connected to my bank account. Okay, then you can do one thing. You can check your emails, okay, from My this computer. You need to check they your haven't worked in a couple of days. It, tell, it told me I kept putting in the wrong password, but it's the right okay. password because I have it wrote down. It was I love Paul. And the same then you can do one thing. Everything. Okay, you can do one thing. Check your online banking as it shows that your bank information has been used. They might hide all the transactions. So you just need to check whether you have received any kind of illegal transaction or anything wrong over there, okay? And please let me know. Okay, I'm on here. Okay, do you see any changes or anything? No. Or I any don't. transactions? No, there's nothing here. Okay, and this is the only account you have? Yeah, who's moving me at my bank? Okay, any, like anything happened? Yeah, someone was moving my bank while I was trying to look at the transactions here. Okay, it might be a glitch, ma'am, that your computer is hacked, right? That's the reason. No, nothing has been put on here. It means this all transactions might be hidden now. The hackers have hiding the transaction now. How can they do that? Do you understand? Because it's coming from a child pornography and it's a illegal site. So they might hide the transactions, okay? And they can use your accounts suspiciously. So I can tell you what you need to do for this, okay? okay to save all your this. accounts. Okay. And this is the only account you have, right? As you yeah, said? Yeah, it is, yeah. Okay. So you can log out from your account. Okay. Oh, I closed the whole window. Oh, okay. All right. And right now, ma'am, as you know that your phone lines are hacked, okay? If you call anyone, the hackers will be able to listen to your conversation as it is hacked. Okay? And okay. you need to speak with your headquarters of your bank, not with the local branch. Okay. So we can provide you a secure line so that you can talk to your bank headquarters and save your account, okay? Okay. So you just need to be handy with a pen and a paper. Okay. And firstly, you need to tell your bank that you need at least 48 hours of high security on all of your accounts. 
48 hours of high security, did you say? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. High security on all of your accounts. Okay. And you need to also mention that you have been hacked, all right? Your devices, your phone lines, and also your account has been hacked. Okay. And you need to mention that there might be some hidden charges coming from child pornography. I don't really want to mention that in case they get the wrong idea. <laughs> yeah. You just have to mention all this so that they can save you, okay, from this hacker. Save your account. So did you say I had to tell them that there was uh, charges? <laughs> yes, there was. Yes, you need to tell them so that they can save you and they can tell you whether they can see any of the transaction or not, okay? Right. And if there is any charges, they will try to help you with that, okay? Okay. And right now, ma'am, as we will be connecting your call with the bank, can you please provide me the 1800 number of your bank? The calling number? The calling number? Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, it's on my bank. Hold on. Do you have any cards of your bank? Yeah, I do, but they're in my wallet. Okay, you can, you can find on the back of your card, okay? It's right on the back of your card. It's on the what of my card? On the back of your oh, card. The back of my card, right, okay. Okay, I'll go get it now. Yeah, sure, ma'am. I'll be on the line. I've got it. Okay, can you please provide me that? Yeah, it's 800. Okay. 968. Okay. 3626. Three, 3626, six, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, it's the First National Bank? Yeah, it is. All right. And right now I have provided you all the information that you need to tell your bank, right? Yeah. All right. And one more thing you can note down my information as well, okay? Okay. So it's Jennifer. Okay. You say? I will provide, yeah, I'll provide on the screen, okay? Just check on the screen. Just look at the screen on the right hand side do you see anything oh yeah i see it yeah that's my name and the next i'm sending it's my employee id okay all right Okay, and I, I will just give you the secure line number also, okay? In which you need to call me if in case we get disconnect, okay? Okay. 
So I have sent you. Just give a look on the screen. It says Microsoft support is tapped. Yeah, do you see the number there? 203? No, it says Microsoft support is tapping. Okay. So I have sent it. You will receive in a few minutes, okay? All right, okay. Okay. At the same oh. time, ma'am, I it will be that, sending uh, all this. It says that you've uh, disconnected. Okay, just be on the line. I'll connect it again, okay? All right, okay. And so right now, ma'am, as we will be sending all this information to my head department, okay? All right. Can oh, you I please you provide me your... Phone. I see your number on my phone, so I do. Yeah, you can note down that, 203, okay? All right, okay. All right, I got it. Okay. And now, ma'am, can you please provide me your present address so that I can send you the reports of the hacking activity? Yeah, it's 1154. Okay. East Lothar Drive. Can you spell that for me? East, E-A-S-T. Okay. Lothar, L-A-W. T H E. Okay. All right. Drive. Okay. Dallas, Texas. Uh, can you spell that? Texas. T E X A S. Okay. And the uh, zip code is seven five two one eight, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Seven five. All right, thank you so much for that. Okay. So I will be just sending all this information to my head department, okay? Right. Just be on the line. Okay. Um, I tried ringing these ones back. Um, they've switched their number, and unfortunately, including their own personal numbers, there's no answer from them, any of them, and the, a majority of them are shut down too. So that's why I'm back on here again. But I can't say, oh yeah, by the way, I was on with someone called Travis. Um, and then I was on with someone called Ryan um, because they're going to wonder well how'd you get this number blah 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 so hope everyone's doing well hi hope you like the new setup uh, I am going to be sorting out my green screen and all behind me um, well doing the final tweaking of the settings and whatnot so just hope everyone's uh, up to speed now um, I will be back in a moment So, yeah, um, as I was saying, I've now got hotkeys, all the rest. Um, I'm looking to get actual proper hotkeys that I can have sitting maybe on the left-hand side of me that can just hit the buttons to do what I need done. Um, I do have them set up my keyboard, but unfortunately the keyboard's way over here somewhere. So uh, it's a bit awkward at times, but uh, matter of fact, I know. Rearranging everything here again. Oh, there we go. Just had to pull it closer. Um, right, so as I was saying, typical of Microsoft uh, scammers, they like to use, I'm all over the show now, um, they like to use um, what's on the screen at the moment. Don't know why. Fear installing, maybe, all the rest. The uh, majority of them do use that tactic and I don't know why. Uh, okay ma'am, are you there with me? Hello? Yeah, hello. Sorry, I sent my phone down there. Okay, so I have uh, like uh, sent all this information to my head department, okay? 
Okay. So uh, the thing is that we will be connecting your call with your bank headquarters, okay? okay? So you just have to be on the line and follow the instruction of your bank, okay? I will directly connect your call to them. And in case if there is any problem, back, okay? Or else you call Sorry, back. Sorry, you broke up there, is... honey. All I had was problem oh, and then me? nothing. Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. I said that in case the line get disconnect, you can call me in the 203 number, okay? All or right, else okay. I will be the one who will be calling you back. So you will be speaking with your bank now and be just handy with the paper and tell them everything, okay? All right, okay. I will. I have uh, it all so just wrote be down. On the line. Sorry? I have it all wrote down. Okay, okay. Be on the line, okay? Okay, thank you, honey. No problem, ma'am. <laughs> So, uh, as you can hear, they're now going to put me through to my bank. Um, don't know why they like to do this, but seriously, it's a stupid part of the script. But, uh, anyway. Thank you for calling First National Bank of America. This call will be recorded. Thank you for calling First National Bank. This is Roger. How can I help you today? Uh, hi, Roger. Yeah, uh, I've been... Uh, put through to you by Jennifer from Microsoft. Uh, okay. Apparently she's found uh, my, that my computer has been hacked. Really, that's what I'm trying to say. And that uh, okay. that's including okay. my phone lines and my bank account. And I have to ask for 48 hours of high security on my account. All right, ma'am, we will definitely do that. And I'm really sorry to hear about the hacking. Uh, can you tell me uh, who is Jennifer? Like, uh, is she your like? Is she, is she a family member? No, she's a Microsoft technician. Microsoft technician. Okay. All right. So you were talking to Microsoft. All right. Yeah. So let me do one thing. Let me go ahead and check your account first. All right, and let's see what's going on. Okay. Okay. Can you help me with your first and last name again? Yeah, it's Maribeth Swanson. Please spell your last name. S W A S O N mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Swanson. Got it. Thank you. Uh, can you help me with the last four digit of your checking account number or debit card number? My checking account is three one nine eight. Three one nine eight. Thank you for giving me the information. Let me go ahead and check everything. All right. And I'll be right back within a few minutes, all right? Let me check your account. Okay, Take thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for holding the line, ma'am. Are you there with me? Yeah, I'm here. All right, so I have your account in front of me right now, and I can see uh, on your checking account, on your premium account, you are holding a balance of $1,507,277. Yeah. The dollars point thirty six cents, okay, and uh, you also have another account which is your premium savings, and this account you hold two million dollar plus, right? And you also have a money market in which you hold fifteen thousand six hundred and thirty seven dollars point seventy two cents, all right? Yeah. That's so these hackers, account. I think, yeah, I do see there is a charge on your checking account for hundred and fifty thousand dollars, okay? A hundred and fifty. Yes, ma'am, $150,000. This transaction, yeah, I know. This transaction looks very suspicious, ma'am, okay? Because there are, these transactions are done to a pornographic website, all right, which is Pornhub, pornhub.com. And it looks very suspicious to me because this happened 
early morning today, around 4.30, all right, 4.30 wow. in the morning. Yeah, well, that so definitely wasn't me because I don't get up until 10. I, I know, ma'am. I believe that because this is an international charge which is going to China, all right? And there is no way that you can wake up early in the morning and you can process such kind of request. And on top of that, I can also see that we even tried to call you and inform you about these transactions, okay? We wanted to verify whether it's you making the charge or somebody else. So when we called you, uh, there was no response. The calls were not connected to your phone, okay? You did not receive any calls no, because the phone anything. line... Yeah, the calls were redirected to a different location, all right? Oh. So it's a complete hacking hacking activity. And now I believe there is a high possibility that even your phone lines are tampered. Your phone lines are not safe, okay? Well, yeah, so that's why it say that, though. Yes, your phone lines can be hacked. That's why these hackers are trying to block the calls when we are trying to call you, okay? But you don't need to worry, all right, because as a banker, my job is to protect your money and make sure that you do not have any loss, okay? You do not lose anything, all right? So what I will have to do here, because this is a child pornography charge, okay? This is a child pornography investigation, and this is a child pornography charge of 150000 I need to talk to law enforcement right now, okay? I need to inform the law, law enforcement because uh, you are innocent. You can be convicted for this crime later on, so I don't want that to happen because you did not commit this crime. Yeah, you did, did not do any kind of child. You did not do any kind of child pornography. This is somebody else who is trying to use your identity and they are trying to use your account to make this schedule charge. So now you need to understand something. Scheduled charge means the money is not taken out from your account. It is scheduled to be taken out tomorrow, 3.30 p.m., all right? All right. So before this, before this happens, I'm going to stop it, okay? Okay. Well, before how, this happens. How are you going to do that? Uh, first of all, I, I will want, talk to... I don't want this on my, my charges. I don't want anything to do with this. And honestly, I, I feel know, like throwing my computer out, and I also feel like no, throwing no. up. I really no, no, no. This, this is not about the computer, ma'am. This is about your identity. All right. Even though you throw your computer, it is not going to resolve the problem because these hackers got your information. All right. And I'm really concerned because this is the fifth case of child pornography in the past few months, and this is happening from the same branch. A first financial bank, okay? So I'm really concerned what's going on in your home branch. You're the fifth customer, okay? Oh. So this is this is not about your computer. Your your information are being leaked out on the internet, okay? I do not know who is doing that, okay? But you are not the only one from your locality, right? You are the fifth person from your locality having this child pornography transaction I'm not, I'm you're not, not the, the only one tool in the shed, but are you saying that there's someone in the first national yes. america bank where our bank is stealing people's there is a po uh, there, identities there is a pot there they are not stealing identity man there is a possibility okay i cannot accuse anybody of doing anything but this is the fifth case and this is from dallas texas so that's why i'm really concerned because uh, you are the fifth customer from the same branch, okay? Having a child pornography charge, okay, from the same branch. And that's why I need to talk to law enforcement right now. I will be talking to the Department of Justice, and uh, I will inform them about this transaction, and I will make sure they understand that you did not do anything. This is the identity theft case, all right? Okay. You just have to cooperate. You do not have to throw your computer away because I'm going to take care of everything, okay? okay. So please relax. You don't okay. need to panic, okay? Everything will be all right, and I guarantee you that you're not going to lose any money from your account, all right? Because I will take care of this, all right? I just need time. I need time to investigate this because we have time till tomorrow, 3 p.m., all right? Okay. Today, if you know... Today is Memorial Day. It's a federal holiday, all right? Yeah. So no international transactions will be taken out. 
All right. Oh, Today, you, no transaction. Sorry. Yes. No transactions can be can be done internationally today because we do not operate. You're connected to the fraud protection team right now. This is the fraud protection division, all right? Okay. And you're talking to Roger Rivera from First National Bank of America. You do one thing. You first write down my information because I'm the investigating officer from here. Please write it down. Okay. Okay, so it's, did you say Roger Rivera? <clears throat> Roger Rivera, yeah. It's R I B E R A, B as in Victor. Yeah, I got it. R I, yeah, Roger Rivera. You write down <clears throat> my extension number. It's T as in Tango, 5721. So T as in Tango, 5721. 5721. Yeah, this is my extension. And you also write down. Uh, the secured number where you can talk to me because if you call on the 1-800 number, these hackers can listen to your conversation, okay? okay? And it is very risky. So I'm going to give you the secured line <coughs> of the fraud protection team. Write it down, 669. 669. 888-8256. Okay, yeah, okay. I repeat, 669-888-8256. You got it? Yeah, I got it. <clears throat> All right. So before I talk to law enforcement, I would, I would be asking you a few questions. Apart from you, are you sharing your account information to anybody else in the family? No, I don't. You don't, right. And I believe on the computer that you're using, uh, you have multiple uh, users or you are the only user no, of the computer? That's only me. Okay. You stay alone or you have a family with you, ma'am? No, I'm just by myself. So that means you have nobody who can take out your information, right? There is nobody around you. You're the only one, all right? And are you into some kind of business or are you retired right now at this moment? No, I'm retired, honey. Retired, okay. No problem. So I will be taking this case, all right, and I will be talking to the law enforcement. It's going to take maybe uh, five to ten minutes. All right, or maybe more than that, maybe 15 minutes, all right? You don't have to do anything and do not panic, all right? Okay. Your account is under high security right now, starting from now. Your account is on high security. My team will be monitoring each and every activity here, okay? okay. So do not worry. You're not going to lose any money because you are, uh, we, are, we are monitoring everything. It's high security on you. So at this point of time, all I need to do is I need to talk to law enforcement so that you do not face any charges for child for porn activity, okay? All right, okay. So I need Thank to inform you. them. I was really worried so about please, that. Thank you so much. I understand, ma'am. I understand. But I have experience handling such cases, all right? So I know what to do here, and I will make sure that this case is closed before uh, 3 p.m. tomorrow, Okay. Because 3 p.m. is the time when these hackers will try to <clears throat> steal your money. Right now, everything is fine on your account. If you have a look, you will see everything there. There is no transaction, no suspicious activity. Yeah. So these hackers are very smart. They are, they are trying to steal the money at a certain time by creating a charge. But this will not go through, okay? Right. <clears throat> so please stay connected. Give me 10 to 15 minutes. Within 15 minutes, I'll talk to them and get back to you. And I also need to talk to Jennifer, the lady. Can you give me her extension number or a phone number where I can talk to her? Can you give it to me? Yeah, and numbers. Two, yeah, three, give it to me. Mm -hmm. 587 mm -hmm. 7833. Got it. So her name is Jennifer. Can you give me the last name? Do you know the last name yeah, of Jennifer? Perret. P-E-R-R-E-T. Okay. Do you have a desk ID for Jennifer so I can recognize her? Uh, it's MS1804. Mm -hmm. 1804. Thank you so much. I will also talk to Jennifer so to see if she can give me the hacking reports. But if she, because the Microsoft people, they must be having a hacking report, which I can use as an evidence to show the law enforcement that you did not do anything. All right? All right. Okay. So just stay connected. Within 20 minutes, I'll be back. Okay? 20 minutes time. Give me 20 minutes.
Thank you. Okay, thank you. By the way, what do you think of my animation at the start? Um, there is one at the end too. Thank you for holding the line, ma'am. Are you there with me? Are you there with me, ma'am? Hello? Yeah, hi. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry, yeah. I, I set my phone down. I went to the loo. No problem. This is Roger again. I had a word with Jennifer and I have taken all the reports, right? She got all the reports. She sent me the hacking reports and I also forwarded all the information to the law enforcement, all right? Okay. So the Department of Justice has suggested me that we should do the duplicate charge in order to stop this international charge of child pornography. So my question is, do you understand what duplicate charge means in banking system? You have any idea about well, duplicate, I know duplicate charge? Duplicate means to make a copy. That is correct, ma'am. Absolutely correct. Okay. So I will tell you how it can protect you from this child pornography case. Okay. All right. So I will start. I will start with an example so I can make you understand. So suppose you're going to going for a shopping. Okay, and you're going to a shopping center. All right. Okay. Uh, you go to the shopping center, you buy a dress for yourself for $100, and you swipe your credit card on the store, okay? Okay. While making the payment, due to some technical glitch, suppose instead of paying $100, you have paid a wrong amount. You have paid 150 all right, okay. due to a glitch, all right? Just an example, okay? In that situation, the duplicate charge comes into play. Because the store people will ask you to swipe the card one more time with the same amount. Because when you swipe the credit card one more time with $150, both transactions will be reported to the bank, okay? okay. We will receive a notification that in, in within 24 hours, two transactions have been created for $150 each, which cannot be authorized, okay? Both transactions will be reviewed and it will be canceled automatically, all right? Okay. So this is how the duplicate charge can actually cancel the international charge of child pornography. Now, let me tell you why I cannot stop the charge without the duplicate charge. So when you have a transaction which is done within our country, which is a domestic transfer, okay? okay. I have complete authority to cancel any amount which is done within the United States, all right? Because this is our country. But once the money is going to international bank, suppose China, there are certain guidelines that we have to follow. We have international guidelines, okay? So that is why the law enforcement has suggested me that tomorrow we have to do a duplicate charge of $150,000 in order to stop this uh, child pornography and cancel the transaction, okay? okay? So tomorrow morning, this is what we are going to do and everything everything will be back to normal. Now, my next question is, can you tell me when was the last time you went to the bank? Uh, oh, uh, last time I was in my bank, maybe two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, all right. So no problem. And how far is it from your house, ma'am, the bank? Uh, it's about 20 minutes away. 20 minutes, not far, okay. And have you done any kind of like a wire transfer before, any wire transfer before in your life to anywhere? Uh, yeah, I sent one to my son once. Okay, uh, yeah. okay. Uh, where, where is your son right now? Like in a different city? Yeah, he's in a completely different state. He's in New York. All right, okay, no problem. So you just need to understand few guidelines which I will want to tell you. Uh, as you know, this is a federal investigation, okay? This is a federal investigation, and when the investigation is open, you are not going to discuss this investigation to anybody, not even with your friends or family. You will not do that, okay? okay. Not with, even with your son, because but if you discuss this incident, this transaction, or any about the, any of this information to anybody, it is a straight violation of the code of conduct of Department of Justice. All right, okay. because this is being investigated at this moment, we do not know who is behind this. 
you are not supposed to talk about this investigation to your son, to your friends, to your family, okay? Okay. You will be able to talk about this after the case is closed. You can talk to anybody you want to, all right? But until it is done, please do not discuss this case to anybody. You can have normal phone conversation, all right? You can receive phone calls. You can do phone calls. But remember, there can be somebody listening to you, all right? Okay. So make sure while talking, you have normal conversation. You do not talk about you got hacked. There, there are hackers. You got charged with 150,000. Any of that. Do not panic. Do not talk about these things, okay? Because the law enforcement is already working on it, and I have guaranteed you that you will not lose the money tomorrow, okay? okay. This is not going to happen. Because before this happens, we are going to stop them, and I will do that. I promise you, okay? Okay. So you just need to maintain the privacy of this transa- of this uh, investigation. You will receive some documentation from my side, all right? Because I'm working on it, you will receive some documentation from my side of the investigation. And after the case is closed, you will receive a clearance letter, a clearance letter which will which will tell you that you have no involvement into this child pornography. It will it will be a kind of declaration by. Department of Justice, all right, okay. so that you do not face any problems in future. Because you know, when when an innocent person is uh, convicted with such a crime, their names can be registered in the sex offender registry. The social can be suspended. In worst cases, some people have also faced imprisonment, all right, all right. for a crime they have not committed. But you are innocent, and I have enough evidence to prove my case, all right. So that's why I'm telling you. You don't need to worry about it, okay? I got the uh, law enforcement people working on it, and I myself am working on it. Your local branch people will also be interrogated about this because this is not the first time this is happening. This is the fifth case in a span of a few months, which is not good, okay? We have a reputation. Yeah. We have to maintain our reputation, okay? We cannot let this uh, news come out in media because it will bring a lot of bad publicity to our bank, okay? So that's why I will make sure that you will not lose the, any money, all right? This is guaranteed from my side. As a manager, I'm going to do that, okay? All right. So I think you have everything with you, okay? There is no information I need to give you anything more. So I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? I'll talk to you tomorrow. Okay. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm going to be calling you tomorrow around, okay, let me uh, schedule the time, okay? Stay connected. Okay. Hold well, on. I'm at I'll my tell you right tomorrow. Uh, uh, at what time, man? At two o'clock. So any time after three will be fine. I think I'll call you morning, man. I can call you at morning. Okay, it's two fifty-five p.m. right now. It's your time. So I think what I can do, I can call you at uh, ten a.m. in the morning. I can do that. Ten a.m. Okay. Ten a.m. in the morning. All right. Yeah. Well, is this going to take too long? Is this going to take any longer? Because I will need to go to that this doctor's appointment. It's very important. At what okay. time you have the appointment? You tell me. Well, I have to be at the hospital for twelve, and then from there I have to go round to my doctor's. So that's why I'm saying any time okay. after three. So you tell me that you're telling me that by after twelve you'll be busy, right? After yeah. twelve. After 12, yeah. yeah, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, let me call you at 9.30. We will be done by 11. You can go to your doctor's appointment, all right? By 11, we will, we will be done, okay? Right. So I'll call you at 9.30, and before 11 o'clock, we will be done. So you will have enough free time to attend your appointments with the, with the doctors, all right? Okay. okay, so this will be good. So I will do one thing. I'll call you at 9.30 a.m. In, in the morning, your time. And we will do this, and we'll make it before 12 p.m., all right, so that you can do your work, okay? okay. Don't worry about it. Hold on, hold, yeah. hold on, so, uh, hold on a wee minute, hold on. Yeah. I'm here. This is Monday. Yeah, this is Monday. No, tomorrow's Tuesday. Yeah. No, sorry, I have my it's days just... mixed up. It's Wednesday, I go to the, see my doctor and at the hospital. So any time okay, after right. 10 would suit me fine. All right, okay. So tomorrow you have no appointments, right, Mom? No. No, I don't. I got oh, wonderful! Mixed up. So I'll, I'll call you. Up. I'll call you at ten then. That means okay. I'll That's call you at great. ten a.m. Yeah, okay, that would right. be better. Okay. 
And uh, please relax. You don't need to panic. You don't need to worry. There is high security on your account right now. We are monitoring everything. I have a team of 70 people. So you can imagine that we are protecting you. You don't need to be worried or, or tense about this. Everything will be okay after we do the duplicate charge. So uh, today we will do a copy charge tomorrow, and I will call you, okay? okay. And I'll let you know how oh, to do that. Brilliant. Thank All you, right. man. Thank have, you, Roger. Thank have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye. All yep. right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh. Second undose. So, right. So, I was actually checking my thing here. Um, it is Wednesday. <laughs> my own appointment's had, so... I was like, it's only Monday. Um, yeah, so that's dead on. Um, an hour and a half phone call, and God know, only knows how much tomorrow. So this video will hopefully, fingers crossed, be continued tomorrow. So until then, bye. Well, I tried ringing him back, no avail. He wouldn't answer the phone to me. And that made me very, very sad. But, on a different note, it means I got to ring them back. And on the next phone call, well, it gets really interesting. Loads of twists and turns, loads of bits and pieces that goes on. Funny bits, sad bits, disgusting bits. But nonetheless, it's a video and it is brilliant. So don't miss out on the next one because it's the final. Yes, you heard it right. It's the final part of the saga of Microsoft Scammers. So thanks very much everyone for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. And remember, I love you. Don't get scammed. Peace out.